Recruits. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to Three Poopy Poops. Three Prude Poops. Forgot to grab my sword. And we're playing Ico. Ico. Yes. And that's what we're doing right now, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. She's just in my way. Did you take your phone case off your phone? I got a skin on my phone. Ooh, skin. Yeah, my case, the dot view case for my HTC M9 was falling apart. If anybody's ever owned that phone and had that case for like a year, it just fucking goes kaput. Shouts out to H. 3C HTC uh, sponsoring this episode. Great guys. Appreciate you. Um, it's, over at what? HTC Touch. They sent us brand new phones to test and we're digging them down. That's all a lie. And <laughs> completely untrue. Uh, anyway, yeah, I got uh, I got a D, something called D-Brand skin uh, for my phone. And it's pretty sweet. The only thing is you have to apply it with like a heat gun or... A, uh, a whatchamacallit. Oh, you fancy, huh? And I, I, I ended up using a blow dryer. I don't even need a blow dryer, but you I bought one. You don't even need a blow dryer. <laughs> I bought one just for that. And now I just have a blow dryer that I don't need it for You could have just anything. blowed on it. Blowed on it really hard. like. <sighs> I don't have like 200 degree breath. I'm not that hot. Eat some tamales. <laughs> Eat some tamales. Pop some ghost peppers in your mouth. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to do like a skip. Here's what we're doing, guys. We are um, in this prison. Yes. Here's, a little, here's a little backstory. Yes. We're this little baby kid. We're a baby kid. A little baby kid with horns, and he's a demon. He's possessed by a demon. And that's all we really know. And there's this lady here. We don't know much about her either. I found out his name is Iko. His name is Iko, and her name is Yorda. Yorda. And they're really great people. Um, and we're trying to get out of this prison. And we think it's a prison for demon kids. It is. It is a prison for demon kids. Baby kids. Demon, demon baby, baby kids. kids. And... I think I just found my new band name. Demon Baby Kids. <laughs> <laughs> you you have to wear like huge doll heads <laughs> with, with horns. blood and horns. And somebody has to Where be the fuck did you go? Oh, there she is. A white nightgown. A white nightgown? Yeah, that would be the uh, the lead vocalist. Of course. She'd have to be Japanese. She would have to be Japanese. That's the only requirement. Because, why would you not have a Japanese burp? <coughs> oh, God, that was a terrible burp. That sounded awful. Speaking of um, burps, today we're drinking some great old Blue Moon Belgian White, Belgian-style wheat ale. Wheat. Belgian, Belgian White, Belgian-style wheat ale. Brewed with Valencia orange peels. Orange peels? Orange peels. <laughs> It's pretty great. It's a great beer. We got it at Walgreens today. Shouts out to Walgreens. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, Yorda, you, like, stay right there. <laughs> I gotta go blow something up. Motherfucker. You know who I haven't seen in a long time? Tamo. Tamo? You saw him uh, last week, right? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a long time. It's been a, it's been a quick minute? Yeah, it's been a quick minute. Uh, a hot minute. I went over to his house the other day. What was he doing over there? Uh, well, he was jerking off, and I was like... Did you fucking impede on him? I was like, it? dude, what are you doing? You invited me over just so I could watch you jerk off. Wow. Um, That's classic Tomo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I need... I think I need the stick. I think I still need my stick. So, if I'm not mistaken here, what's basically going on is we are trying to start up this windmill thing or do something with this, shine a light on it or something. Or do I, would, I would like to note it. that it, it is a new day today. And uh, every time we record, Alan forgets everything that we've ever done in this game. I don't even... <laughs> Sometimes I forget what year it is. 
but that's okay. We'll 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 get through it together. And because I I'm pretty sure we've already opened up one of these um little spigots. Spigots. And now we're on the second one, right? Is that right? Yeah, we're on the west tower, um, thing that we need to open up. I mean, uh, activate. But how do you know it's the west tower, Stephen? Because the other one was the east tower. If you're facing the prison, this would be to the west. This would be to the west. Yes. And the other one would be to the east. The west. So for everybody at home that's keeping track of cardinal directions, we are in the west turn area. We're in the west hymnasphere. As you can see, we've just found three, five bombs. And we have five options. We have five <laughs> chances to bl <laughs> to blow them up somehow. Alan, you're like mentally checked out. <laughs> This is what we have to blow up, but we have to have a fire source. So here's what Steven's going to do. He's going to go find it. You just found it. I set us up the bomb. It's pretty explanatory what he's doing right now. So just follow along. You'll beat the game. God damn it. Oh, no. Drop. Drop the fucking drop the bomb. Oh, shit. You dead. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. Blow up. You stupid fucking Look at that. cunt. Look at that. Look at those graphics. Sorry. And they flew her somewhere. I have no idea where the fuck. Yeah, where is this girl at? Oh, wow. There she I is. I just got there in time. Damn. I have all this same problems with females. They just run away and they get sucked down in holes. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here, Yorda. I mean, that fence wouldn't be too hard to jump and climb down and just run I'm, away. I am done with this. I am just done with this bullshit. Yeah. Can we? No. Please. What is he doing? He just like went down automatically. <laughs> Come on. Grab my hand. <laughs> Come on, Yorda. Come on. Come on. Yes. Okay. Now, we go over here, I think. I think. I think. Yes. Magic blocks appearing. It's something that just happened in this, okay? You don't need to ask questions. No, you don't need to ask questions. And if you do, up. you're not a true gamer. I'll have to fucking kill you. You just don't understand the game if you don't have to ask questions. <laughs> right, Maybe exactly. Play it. Go play some Mario Kart. Go play some God dang Mario Kart, you know? Ah. Ah. Come on. Come the fuck there on. There is a lever. There's a lever. And we pulled it. I Look at that. Did it. Look at that shit. We gotta jump back down. And probably do something with those things. Yep. Gotta grab gotta grab some fire. Yeah. What? <laughs> if we if I had to guess, yeah. I would say we grab some fire. There's uh. three I didn't remember lighting those. Well. But it's okay. It's all right. But it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's all, right. all right. It's okay. It's all right. Boop. There's two and she'll open. Bada bing, she'll bada open. boom. <laughs> bada bingy, bada boom bee. <laughs> and now, as now you can the, see. The sun shafts filter through the satellite dish uh i was gonna give it a cool name but i i, I can't think of anything right now shimoga bleeping shimoga ble through the shimoga bleeping there's two of them and that. lights that Boom. come locking holy shit this is in, this is actually pretty relevant what's yeah. happening right now we're activating the west goddamn tower the tower is fucking done look at that oh now my we, god now we lightning to the door is that the fucking final piece of it yeah I'm freak. I'm having an existential crisis right now. You're having an existential attack. I am. An existential. You heard it here first, folks. On Bree Brood Broods, the game Ico gave me an existential crisis. See Westgate. Trigger I alert! Got there, told you. No, get down. Get the down. Come over here. 
Come on. She just she, she just, just dropped herself. She just dogging you, bro. She's dogging me, bro. And we're gonna climb that really long tower. I mean, really long ladder. Um, off camera, because <laughs> I cannot. Uh, I cannot Why subject are we do you. It off tower. Off tower. Off Why camera. Off camera. Off camera. Uh, because it's, it's, a, it's super it's boring a, for the viewers to I watch. I think it's a pinnacle moment in time, and I'll tell a story while we climb it up. Okay. No, wait, wait, five seconds. Uh, wait, wait, wait for it. Three, two, one, and there's a bird. Goodbye, bird. And, <laughs> God, this is so long. Okay. Okay. Go for it. So, one time, when I was a little kid, mm -hmm. I had this friend in my neighborhood, and I used to skateboard over to his house and hang out with him, and his mom was a MILF. She was in <laughs> calendars and, like... Really? Yeah, she was, like, a straight-up model. And one time... That's completely irrelevant. But one time, we really liked wwe smackdown and dude you loved fucking smackdown dude that was my shit so what we would do is we would take my futon mattress and we would fold it up and put it on my and put it on my trampoline okay and we made a ring in my trampoline and we used to do like backflips and like some fucking DDKs and some fucking <laughs> all kinds of shit. Just takedowns on this, chokeholds, all kinds of stuff on this. So how is this relevant to the mom being a mill? Well, one time, <laughs> she, my mom never let us jump on the trampoline unless there was an adult present. But so the hot mom was jumping on the trampoline with you. One time my mom wasn't at home and we really wanted to jump on the trampoline and wrestle with each other because we were probably secretly gay and she came over once and i was trying to lay out the moves on her son the smackdown moves oh i thought, I thought she, you meant like i'm trying to seduce her son but looking back i should have told her to get on the trampoline and let me do this some smackdown moves on her oh yeah because then I could have got them boobies. titties in my face. And yes, they were extremely fake. But they were huge. And... Were they nice? They were extremely nice and, and petite and pointy. That, you know what? Alan, that's a, that's a great story. That, Thanks, is, that was a fantastic story. Next time on Three Curd Dudes. <laughs> we're gonna... We're gonna get to the gate. And tell more stories. And hopefully she'll be on the ground by that time. Yep. All right, bye. <laughs>